Hello, what is up, people? In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to make a PFP in the Scratch Editor. So let's go. So, um, first, you're going to have to delete the cat costume and get a blank costume. So, now, um, get a make get the square tool out. Make it whatever color you want the shirt to be, and then make a um make a rectangle um and then stretch it out with the um, with this tool i forgot what it's called but it's there um outline that um outline it um now you're going to get a circle um, this is the head Obviously, so what you're gonna do is get whatever color you'd like your head to be. I usually have trouble finding out how how to get the good hair co head color. Um, there, there. Um, put that, bring that a little up, and seven point six. Two six. Um, that's what I'm good with, and set it to the outline to that, just a bit darker around there. So, yeah. Um, now for the eyes. The eyes. You want to do this good. Mm, um, do this good. Um, so, so you're going to get black circle actually um I might actually want to get some like sunglasses or something so uh Save image as, and then go to a website called um, remove.bg. Um, there, original moved background. That's good. Click save as. Save. Go back to. Go back to your scratch editor. Open upload costume. I think it's, yep, this is it. Um go there. Copy it. Paste it. Paste it. It to the side, and I think this is how to make a cool PFP. This might not be it, but this is what I'm doing for a new PFP. Um, just um, down there. Backward. Another one. Backward. Um. Okay. Um. I know that's done. Uh. I think I'll add this. small little uh, mouth thing that I'm adding um and for the hair I usually add 
Um, I usually go to. Nope. Is there Sharky Shar? Shar's Icon Creator. Um, there. Um. It loads. You're gonna hit C inside. Loading. It goes in there. Now go to the um front hair section. I I um usually choose. I backpack this one. Cause that's my hair style, and then I bring it up. Copy it, paste it. So, um, and then um, you might want to get some cool background. So, um, I would usually go to the PFP backdrop. Got a backpack that. Back there, yep. copy it, back layer, um, and you get to move it upward a bit, I think this has got to be a bit bigger, <laughs> got to, um, Okay, and now that that's done, um, just make it easier, um, and screenshot inside the, inside the box, and after that, download it to your computer, um, there, download it. Um, this PAP isn't not that good, um, it's not that good, um, and, and then go to your profile, um, and then hold up your PFP, and then when you see the change button, you're going to, um, scroll down until you get it, and then, okay. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.